six. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light, a light that will shine on all who live in the land where death casts its shadow. Israel will again be great, and its people will rejoice as people rejoice at harvest time. They will shout with joy like warriors dividing the plunder. For God will break the chains that bind his people and the whip that scourges them, just as he did when he destroyed the army of Midian with Gideon's little band. In that day of peace, battle gear will no longer be issued. Never again will uniforms be blood-stained by war. All such equipment will be burned. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders. These will be his royal titles. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hope's definition in the Bible is the confident expectation of what God has promised, and its strength is in his faithfulness. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. This verse says it best for me when we think of hope. The hope of a Savior that will save us all. Hope to give us a light in the darkness to fight the evil that surrounds us. Hope to break the chains that bind us. Hope of an eternal life where we will find peace, love, and a forever new home. Hope to one day sit next to the wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. As we start this first week of Advent, remember to put all your hope in God Praise him daily and pray for God's love and grace to surround you always. I hope with this.